you. Let me be very clear when I say this. This is a movement formed by broke men. Men who have the means to be a provider, they don't act like this. They are more than happy to provide for you in the way that you need as a woman. I am money. I don't like that they get the adult dude coffee dates. I don't care how much money I ever make. I still want my man to pay for everything. He should pick me up. He should drop me off. He should buy me Ubers. In exchange, he gets to not embarrass me and breathe my air. I think it's pretty fair. I think we're even Stevens. Otherwise, um, I don't need a man just to have a man. Oh no, it, it just it doesn't sit right with me. I don't women expect to work full time jobs making the same amount of money as men, sometimes even more, but don't want to come out of pocket. This just shows you how greedy women are. They talk about all this equality, but the whole time they want to be in a power position. Come on. And then they go on to say men aren't the prize. Well, if somebody is paying all the bills, buying you things, paying all the bills, taking care of you free of charge, just need your love in return. How is that not the prize? Because if I had a woman that was paying all my bills, how would she not be the prize? That's insane to me. Men are becoming way sassy. more sassy. Typical. And way more like they want, because girls are fighting for like equality, they're like, okay. Like they think they're the prize. Like nobody's chasing you. Jeez. Nobody's no chasing you. you. <laughs> You're not the prize. Men are becoming sassy. Eh, you know, typical Bob word, but we're becoming sassy equals men are starting to know their worth. See, this is not the old generation, it's 2024. Like she said in the video, these women want equality until it's not benefiting them. And right, ladies, the men have decided if you can't beat them, join them. So drizzle, drizzle to your sprinkle, sprinkle, okay? At the end of the day, you told men that they were toxic just for being men. You told men that strength and macho behavior and all the rest of the things that come along with being a man, those things are all bad. Put them away. Okay. They said no problem. They have no problem being in their soft guy era. So I hope you're not concerned about who's going to be taking out the trash because guys have decided you, princess, you get to take out the trash. And while we're talking about royalty, I hope you're not wanting to be a passenger princess because these guys, they want that treatment too. Fair is fair, right? Anything you can do, they can do. All right, well, they've decided to match your sass and now they're embracing it. So I hope that you get everything that you wanted because ladies, y'all have created some monsters, okay? Uh, so buckle up and enjoy the ride. I don't think it's ending anytime soon. Drizzle, drizzle. The experience to where you're now like, yeah. It's a lot of pressure on black men, specifically dating black women. And I love black women. Social media and the culture has put a lot of pressure on us. This could be just based on environment. Mm -hmm. um, when I moved to Atlanta, you know, women here are very entitled. Mm. Um, it's, and listen, I'm not blaming anybody. So I don't want this to turn into When you say that. entitled though, break, what does entitled um, mean? I say financially entitled. I feel extreme pressure. And I get hit on by white women. I get hit on by all kinds of women. But when I get hit on by black women, I immediately feel this entitlement of i gotta pay for something mm, wow i gotta pay your rent i gotta help you with your car note immediately within two weeks or i gotta i'm just saying what i've experienced i'm not saying that's every woman nowadays if i take somebody on the four hundred dollars <laughs> immediately and i don't even drink so if she drink that's a couple hundred if the hookah is 45 dessert? lamb chops is 50 dessert mm -hmm. so by the top VIP valet. Park, valet i was just gonna say valet so we didn't spend 400 dollars for me to see if you like me say that again Mm. So it's like I'm spending and I'm spending, I'm spending. That's just the first date. You want to go out again. That's a, so I, I didn't spend a thousand dollars on three dates just to see if you might call me back or maybe text me back. And then because you're a beautiful woman, if you don't like me, you can go get the next man to do the same thing. Their soft guy time. Did you see the news that men are actively embracing their soft guy era? Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> I'm just as shocked as you are. But let's break down where this came shocked from. Shocked for what? The soft guy era is an offshoot of the men's response to the 4B movement. No, now, it's remember, not. The 4B movement originated in South Korea where the women determined themselves not to. Let me stop you there, sister. But it is so hard today as a black woman and no one talks about it. Black women are over-sexualized. Black women are only praised when they're doing the most. 
black women are looked down upon on when we're in our natural state. We can't just be black women. We can't be too loud or too broad or too dominant because we're ghetto. And we can't be too soft and subtle because then men will run over us. It's like, <laughs> what do you do? So you know what? You know what I said. I'm going to just take this time that I'm single and not become a girlfriend, not become a buddy, but to better myself and become a wife. Like throw it back in our faces and be like, see, it's ridiculous. No, it's ridiculous coming from you. Let me be very clear when I say this. This is a movement formed by broke men. Men who have the means to be a provider, they don't act like this. They are more than happy to provide for you in the way that you need as a woman. I am thankful for the men who have started this movement. The only men who want to have a soft girl life are the broke ones. The fact that men are coming on here and talking about how we have to settle, we don't have to do anything. Like, you can make more money or you will end up alone, period. And if you don't like that, you as a man should be going into government and trying to change the way that the economics currently are in this country. Do something positive.